What are we in the market for today? We just got engaged last week. Whoa, congratulations. Thank you, we were in Hawaii, it was wonderful. So we're just looking to celebrate with something fancy, fun, something that's us, but not overpriced necessarily. Champagne or sparkling, we're not really sure of the... So I was gonna ask, um, do you wanna do a true champagne? Do you wanna tell us a little bit about true champagne versus untrue champagne? So a lot of times people will ask for champagne, but they just mean anything sparkling. So I've got some really awesome champagnes that are from Champagnes. Champagne is made in a very specific way mm -hmm. and made in a very specific place. Right. So the name is Champagne right. and the style is known kind of around the world as like Method Champenois. So there are other wines from other parts of the world made in that same Method Champenois. Mm -hmm. They just don't happen to be from that area. Right. So That's sparkling wine. Essentially you can get champagne quality and champagne style wines without having to sometimes pay those extra like champagne prices. So this is really cool. This is made by um, uh, this really badass female winemaker in Burgundy. So you're actually like really close to champagne in France. Got it. Uh, and it's made from a lot of the same grapes that they use in champagne to make sparkling wine. Really delicious, really awesome, very champagne in style okay. and under $30. Oh, so if you guys wow. really want to ball on the budget, this is the way to go. Okay. And then you can go treat yourself to a nice dinner as well. Oh. So there you go. Yeah. This is um, a vintage sparkling wine from Germany. So this is vintage 1996. So you've got over 22 years of age on this bottle right now. Wow. And it's only 70 bucks. It's a little bit funkier. Okay. It's gonna get like really bready, really yeasty, kind of earthy. Yeah. So it's gonna okay. take that that freshness of champagne, but give it a little bit of a kind of like more savory, funky edge. Do all of them have like a similar level of carbonation? Or? Yeah. Okay. Because they're made in that same method with two fermentations, got it, got it, got it. it's going to have a very similar uh, feel as far as bubbles go, but texture it depends on how it's made. It. And you should drink the whole thing at once so the fizziness stays and it doesn't go flat? It depends on the wine. Sometimes it can hold overnight, uh, sometimes it'll go flat pretty quickly. So you guys drink a fair amount of sparkling wine? Sounds like you like it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So you've had really good champagne a bunch of times. I would try something new. Okay, if yeah, it's always my, you know, you guys are starting a new chapter of your life. Yeah. Why not start it with something different? Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. That one's great. Cool. Thank <laughs> you.